Today, the 100 British soldiers have been killed in Afghanistan. How significant a statistic is that? Well, clearly it's an unwanted milestone, and it's a tragic reminder of the human price that we're paying. But I think we need to set it in the perspective of what we're seeking to achieve here. We want to leave Afghanistan for the Afghans, in a country that's better governed, more secure, more peaceful, and crucially, no longer represents a threat to the international community. And I think that's a really significant prize. Describe to me the incident. What exactly happened? A foot patrol from 2nd Battalion of the Parachute Regiment was returning to its base, coming through a series of Afghan villages, when it was attacked by a single suicide bomber, and tragically he killed three of those soldiers. Could this attack have been avoided? Is there anything we could have done to stop it? Well, we recognize all too clearly that this is a challenging and at times very dangerous mission. But the crux of it lies in protecting the innocent Afghan people from a ruthless insurgency. And that does require us to live and operate amongst them. Is Afghanistan, Helmand province, worth 100 British soldiers' lives? Well, clearly, each one of those lives is individually tragic and of incalculable loss to the families that are left behind. But I think set in the widest context of the international community supporting a democratically elected government, defeat an insurgency and prevent it regressing into an international terrorist safe haven is absolutely of strategic significance and importance. How will this event affect the men and women under your command? Well, the British soldier, both man and woman, is a remarkably robust, tenacious and resilient character. And talking to them in the wake of this incident, I know that there is somber reflection over friends lost, but also a steely resolve and quiet determination, and I dare say professional satisfaction and pride in a tough and challenging job being well done. The sad event um, that has occurred, will this mean a change in military tactics, military operations in Afghanistan? Well, soldiering is inherently a risky business, but I think in resorting to suicide tactics, the Taliban have demonstrated that they no longer enjoy the popular support of the Afghan people. And that demonstrates the success and progress that we're making here. The British mission in Afghanistan relies on the consent of the British public. What impact will this event have on your mission? Well, we know the British public mourn the loss as we do, but we draw great heart from their continuing support in achieving our important mission here.